This is Justin talking about the thyroid today, once again. And today's topic, what test should I have drawn if I have overt hypothyroidism? This is the TRT and Hormone Optimization YouTube channel. And if you want to learn all about the science-based information on this topic, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and you'll be on your way. The first one is the most obvious one, and that is the TSH. The TSH observes the communication between the pituitary gland and the thyroid gland. Now, as your hypothyroidism actually worsens, the TSH goes up. This is like turning on the volume to somebody that's kind of far away from you. I like to compare the TSH going up as you and a friend are talking, and your friend is walking away from you. So what do you do? you talk louder and louder and louder in an effort to get your friend to hear you. So that's why the TSH is going up because it wants the thyroid gland to hear it, so to speak. However, that's, that's cool and all. Getting the TSH is cool if we're just evaluating just the communication. However, we need to get a free T3 and free T4 as that actually shows us how the thyroid gland is responding to the TSH. If we only drew the TSH without drawing free T3, free T4, we're just evaluating the ability to communicate, but not how the, the thyroid responds to that communication. Next one I like to tell people to get is ferritin. Many patients with hypothyroidism suffer from low ferritin um, or other types of anemia, macrocytic anemia, which is characterized by an increased mean corpuscular volume. Also, normal cytic anemia are somewhat common as well in patients with hypothyroidism. Even if you're not hypothyroid, Having iron deficiency suppresses free T3, free T4 production. Also, it decreases the peripheral conversion of T4 to T3, and it also slows down T3 turnover, which unfortunately in turn can increase the reverse T3. Next one, vitamin D. Vitamin D receptors are distributed throughout the thyroid gland, and vitamin D has immune augmenting effects. Vitamin D status has also been correlated with degree of hypothyroidism and the progression of hypothyroidism itself. Furthermore, vitamin D also can reduce the load of TPO antibodies that a patient has. Lastly, and that's a good segue to this part, TPO antibodies are another test you should have drawn if you have hypothyroidism and we want to evaluate on an ongoing basis. The presence of TPO antibodies indicates that the patient has autoimmune hypothyroidism. That, in other words, means that they have what we refer to as Hashimoto's disease. Hashimoto's disease is the most common cause of hypothyroidism in developed countries. Worldwide, iodine deficiencies is the most common cause of hypothyroidism. However, in patients that have hypothyroidism that's caused by an autoimmune process, it can be a very progressive disease, unfortunately. Furthermore, 40% of them also are affected with some type of gastric disorder, namely like malabsorption. Anyone that has hypothyroidism and has been diagnosed clinically should have TPO antibodies drawn every time that they have their labs done. So in summation, get the TSH, free T3, free T4, vitamin D, TPOs, ferritin. Those are good stable labs you should get if you have hypothyroidism and monitoring on an ongoing basis. Thanks again. Peace out. And now do this next. Click on one of these thumbnails to learn a ton more about TRT and hormone optimization.